What's shaking? My name's Cam, welcome to another video. What's good? And also, hi there. You look nice today, probably. So, I gotta be honest with you guys, I have a confession to make. Not all of my story ideas are good. <laughs> Super shocking, I know. You know, sometimes I'll be like doing something really mundane and then I'll get an idea for a new book and I think it's super deep and profound. For just a little bit, I will feel like I've ascended the realm of mortal men. And then I get to actually typing the damn thing and it ends up having the depth of a kid's bop remix. Just want you to run. The point is, I'm only human, believe it or not, and I'm just guessing here, but I would say that a lot of other writers are only human as well. In fact, I ended up asking all of you if you've ever had any terrible story ideas. I asked you for the weirdest and the worst, and you delivered. I'm going to tell you about my bad story ideas, but first, I want to have a read through some of yours. By the way, I make a lot of videos about writing, so if that interests you, Maybe think about subscribing, if you want to. A young man of 18 years, obliterating his whole hometown. Yes, I was an angry teenager. I don't see anything wrong with that, necessarily. <laughs> Is that weird? You know what, this actually gives me like hardcore Chronicle vibes. Remember that movie that came out years ago? Point is, I could definitely kick back in the recliner with a smoothie and imagine my hometown being completely terminator tooed. I mean, to be clear, you're definitely on a watch list now, Leirina, but not a bad story idea. I had an idea for a group of warlocks living in a forest and protecting it from destruction, only to realize I basically just rewrote Fern Gully. That's just the Lorax. But not quite as good, only because the Lorax has Danny DeVito. And of course, a beautiful mustache. You might not be able to tell because it's only the 4th of November so far, but I'm actually growing a mustache during the month of November for the Movember Foundation. I'm doing that in memory of my father, and if you want to help fight to prevent suicide as well, you can find a link to my Movember page in the description below. Don't feel obligated at all, but if you have a few extra dollars, I really think you'd be making a big difference. Plus, towards the end of the month, I'm going to end up looking like a dollar store hopper from Stranger Things, so that's... fun. Superheroes, but they are gods. Ah, uh, well that just makes me think of Homelander. I mean, he likes to think he's a god. Tell you what though, I've never seen a god that fond of milk. Being trapped in a shopping center. You know what I don't get? People always talk about how fun it would be to be stuck in a mall overnight, like it would be like having a theme park to yourself. I don't really think about it that way. I mean, really think about it. Think about being locked in a shopping center overnight. You've got endless walkways of just empty darkness. You're there all alone and there's all this just empty space all around you. No thanks Tom Hanks, I'm good. Wanted to write a fantasy, thought of a plot that was cool, it was actually just Lord of the Rings. Literally every writer who has ever started by writing a fantasy story. Tell me I'm wrong! A body snatcher parasite plotline in my book series, it just didn't flow well. That uh, that sounds mad spooky, my guy. Big uh, Junji Ito vibes. A girl falls in love with her kidnappers after they killed her parents. Love quadrilateral. Yeah, that's uh, that might be one of the most recklessly chaotic things I have, I have ever read. I mean, you'd make a killing self-publishing that on Amazon, of course. Just slap some Microsoft Word font over the top of a picture of a dude with a six-pack, and you've got a top 100 romance. Easy. Here, you can uh, you can even use me for the cover if you want. Uh, it's it's okay. Like it or not, this is what peak human physique looks like. A story I wrote in fourth grade about a penguin named Frank wanting to pass his math test so he can go to Club Penguin. He goes through many challenges, such as encountering a farting bear on his way home from school and hallucinating his teachers, telling him he sucks in the bathroom. Uh, okay, Sarah, I'll be honest. Uh, there's a lot to unpack here. First of all, Frank is a cool name for a penguin. Uh, to, to be frank with you. Okay, uh, here's my question, though. Uh, in what way does a flatulent bear provide support to Frank? Is the farting an important quality in the bear giving Frank assistance? Also, let's break down this next bit, uh, the next sentence here. Hallucinating his teachers telling him he sucks in the bathroom. Uh, Sucks in the bathroom? Uh, do, you, do you mean that the teachers are in the bathroom telling Frank that he sucks? Or are they saying that Frank is in the bathroom? Su Strangest? Probably Pride and Prejudice meets Charmed. Take the overall story of Pride and Prejudice and adding witches to it. I mean, they did it with zombies. Why not? You know what, go ahead and just 
do the whole pantheon of monsters. Pride, Prejudice, and uh, Ogres. A story where everyone just suffers from the lack of story and their want for something more. I wanted the characters to be inactive and thrown around by fate until the last act, where all of them would suddenly make the craziest choices anything to give them a story. I don't actually think that's a bad idea. A, a story that is a meta commentary on plot structure could actually be pretty interesting. It would be extremely difficult to do well and to make entertaining, especially with a comedic spin, but it's a decent idea. A superhero fish, less Aquaman, more Shape of Water. Right, so uh, Aquaman, but gross. I wrote a story for a school folio that only had three characters in it, then I killed them. My teacher didn't like it. Well, let's be real, you probably, <laughs> you probably scared the shit out of your teacher, Jenny. Such a hard question to answer for someone that doesn't have bad ideas. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I sometimes want to write my dreams because they feel so impactful, but make absolutely no goddamn sense. You should get a dream journal. If you don't have one, make one. They're really cool to have and are especially really cool to read back at a later time. That's what I do and it's actually helped with some stories as well, so all of them. It's my thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A self-insert of me meeting the Three Stooges. Of all the fanfics in the world, I can't say I ever imagined a Three Stooges one. <laughs> I mean, more power to you, I guess. It might have involved Dracula on a space station, warring against the personification of time and his hordes of werewolf sycophants. But then again, it might not have. Yeah, I feel like I'm not smart enough to have even been allowed to read that sentence. I had some really nasty ideas for torture scenes that are very violent, too disturbing to mention, since it deals with the R word. Sorry, luckily I never wrote it down because it got too far. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're definitely on a watch list, my friend. Turning my character into a world slash nation, pulling the reverse country balls thing and then having a story in there when I was 14. It was really weird. Huh? A possessed woman who falls in love with her demon possessing her. Okay, or you people are too horny. Stop it. I took my writer's block and turned it into a story where at the end the character shoots himself in the head, leaving his story all over the wall. I love that as writers, we get to take pretty much anything in life and just make it as utterly depressing as possible. Very cool. Any of the self-insert fan fictions I wrote in high school, they were the worst thing I've ever done and I cringe when I think about them. Self-insert fanfics, they're fine. They're just like an innocent way of fantasizing. Um, it's like a very wholesome form of masturbate. Those were all of your terrible story ideas. Now I'll tell you mine. I honestly think I might have all of you beat, to be honest. And hey, if you want to have your reply featured in a future video, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel here and make sure you follow me on Instagram at cam underscore wolfshot because every now and then I'll like ask a question there or I'll get your help with a video just like today. So the first full story I remember ever writing and finishing was an absolute hurricane of cringe and just mind-boggling nonsense. I wrote it when I was like 10, and I have talked about it on this channel before very briefly and a very long time ago, um, but I imagine not many of you will remember that. It was a fantasy, a very ambitious uh, fantasy. It had action, romance, it had uh, actual children riding space portal motorcycles, leather onesies, and even a celebrity cameo. The short version is that the story involved me as the main hero, of course, and there were also three of my closest uh, friends along with me. I know, me with friends? I have friends, okay? One day we go to a magic show at the local carnival, and when we leave, we discover we have powers. I have telekinesis, my right-hand man has like super strength and super speed, etc. The female of the group can turn into a, a wolf, a, a great big wolf, and the other bloke can control plants. Very cool stuff so far, I know. Anyway, we go back to the carnival where the old man is with the magic show to try and get an explanation, and he tells us that our powers are gifts. They're gifts that he had to give to us because there is an ancient evil coming that we have to stop and only we can stop. The very worst uh, big bad is coming back to uh, dry hump the planet. I'm paraphrasing. Naturally, this strange old man takes us four 
actual children back to his home. Ugh. And even more naturally, our parents are just okay with it, I guess. But here's where it gets really wild. Just before we set out on our quest, the old man, like, pulls away his magic mask and reveals himself to be Toby Maguire, fucking Spider-Man. And I don't mean Toby Maguire in the story as Spider-Man. I don't mean Toby Maguire in the story as a character who looks like Toby Maguire. I mean the actual actor Toby Maguire who played Spider-Man was in my story as a magician that takes kids to his home. I don't Anyway, we all put on our cool leather suits. I'd just seen X-Men 1, so I thought it was really cool, obviously. We hop on our full-sized Tron bikes and we go through a portal. The rest of the story is just a jumble, to be honest. We fight like zombies and vampires one after the other, blah, blah, blah. And then we get to the climax where we meet the villain like two minutes before defeating them. The end. Yep, that just happened. And also, you're welcome. That's the worst story idea I've ever had, but I would literally eat dog food for a year just to get my hands on that manuscript again. Other highlights in my writing involve a story about a man who finds a mountain that actually just turns out to be a giant with a skin condition, a story about a girl finding out that the boy she rejected in school ended up being really rich and famous and handsome. Shout out to my first heartbreak. And a story about a group of teenagers being killed by a psycho in a wax museum. This one's, this one's actually true and it's a little bit crazy. Um, when I was much younger, I wrote a little short story. It was like a horror. Anyway, it had almost the exact plot to House of Wax. There was a bad guy who used to like put wax on his face and he would, he would lure, you know, teenagers and tourists into his wax museum and then he would kill them and turn them into wax sculptures. I wrote that well before the movie came out, and I just couldn't believe it. <laughs> My story didn't have Paris Hilton, though, so it is what it is. Hey, uh, let me know what your worst story idea ever is. Uh, let me know in the comments below. If you can beat my Tobey Maguire story, I will be shocked, uh, but also that is impossible, because it, it won't happen, because it's impossible. Thanks so much for watching, especially if you've watched this far in the video. Extra special thank you to you. Have a nice day. Catch ya.